Right guys, so I've been requested to go a bit further into detail about the mods for weapons and certain armors, so that's what I'm going to go into today for you. So we'll start off with the weapons. So if we look at something like a shotgun to start with, and look at what's best to pair with those. So, you see I've got a major spec on there, so going to the dealing extra damage to certain types of enemies first. Because I use this to mainly take down bigger enemies quicker when I'm not using auto rifle stuff like that. I've got a major spec on it, so anything that's got a yellow bar or a named enemy will get extra damage from this. And going on to the next level from that, you've got boss spec. That increases damage against big bosses and vehicles, so more applicable to like your heavy weapons stuff you're going to save up for the end of a strike or a pointed raid not something you want on something you're going to use all the time. You also have minor spec which dependent what I'm doing I might put on an auto rifle or something like that but it generally doesn't get that much use. It is effective, it does deal some extra damage but like I said there's sometimes better mods that you can pair with stuff. So say you were going into the crucible side with a shotgun We've got things like sprint grip, so the moment you're running round at a sprint, you can just swap to this weapon and you can aim down the sights quicker. It's also ready quicker, so as soon as you swap to it from sprinting, you'll be able to pull it out quicker. Uh, another one for Crucible, if I can find it, free hand grip. So stuff where you're not particularly aiming while well, you're just firing from the hip. Increases accuracy and ready speed while firing from the hip. Pretty self explanatory, it just means again while you're running round you don't need to aim down it to get that tight spread from the shotgun, it just nips everything in a little bit better. Uh, other things, so there's not a lot in here with my other traits that will go synergizing with any of the mods. So next, if I look at say a sniper, hold this up, so see straight away I've got a target adjuster on there. Now this, better, uh, this weapon gains better target acquisition, so the moment you're aiming down the sights it's going to have a little bit more aim assist to aim for the heads and critical points, just helping you get that kill when it's needed. It's good for both Crucible and PVE. The other one you might want to go is when I find it. Oh, counterbalance stock re reduces coil uh, recoil deviation for the weapon. So for a sniper rifle, you might not want to do it because generally, if you're using a sniper, you'll just fire the one shot and then move out the way to go fire another one, so you've not given your position away. This is better if you're going against PvE, like bosses using your sniper against them, or it's the other side of it and you're using it on a scout rifle. Because a scout rifle, if you're firing lots of single shots, it brings your recoil up and then back down again. So you can see I've got counterbalance stock to stop the recoil deviation, because I fire that quickly, it ends up moving up to the sky. Not massively, but it just gives you that little bit of help. You could swap that out again for the target adjuster just to bring everything back in for that tight aim for the first shot. And auto rifles. Now your general go to's on these. You might want to go with one of the minor spec for basic enemies. But that's entirely up to you. Because this one in particular, the Noin Hunger, is quite fast firing. I usually run counterbalance stock so the deviation is not pointing me up in the sky when I fire a big burst. The other one I wouldn't really go with is a target adjuster just because you're firing a lot of shots you don't need that initial snap to the head. Um, you also have seasonal artifact mods which this one is shield piercing round so anything with a shield, the cabal's flanks, um, some taken with shields, 
uh, the hobgoblins when they go down to charge the Vex. You can carry on shooting with them when they're glowing orange, whereas normally you'd have to wait and watch them regain some health, so that will carry on damaging them. And then you start getting into the more specific stuff. So if I find on this guillotine, I have a surrounded perk. So, surrounded, this weapon gains bonus damage when three or more enemies are in close proximity. Now I've got a boss spec on this because I use this weapon against the bosses mainly, but you could then go to surrounded spec. Increases the damage granted by surrounded. Bonus damage lingers for a brief time when no longer surrounded by three or more enemies. Just giving you that enhancement on a fairly good perk to start with. But entirely up to you for that side of it. If we go look at LMG. I've got a major spec on this because LMGs aren't that good for taking down bosses. They're good for keeping damage onto one, but not doing mass damage quickly, which this game generally leans towards. So swap over onto say the rocket launcher. I don't know if I've already got a mod on this or not. Yeah. So because a rocket launcher I'd usually save for a boss, I've got a boss spec sat there waiting on it. The other mods that you could have, like that surrounded I was talking about before though, you'll see Rampage that is on quite a lot of auto rifles and stuff like that. And basically what Rampage does is after first kill you get a damage increase, second kill damage increase again and then third damage increase. Up to, it's always up to times three with Rampage. But with a Rampage spec, this weapon doesn't have it but I can still see the mod you'll see it gives you increased duration of rampage so the time between kills is extended before it starts dropping off altogether another one is dragonfly so if you have a dragonfly in one of these slots like where demolitionist is you could then use dragonfly spec increases the radius and damage of dragonfly so dragonfly if you get a kill with a headshot it'll make that final shot explode and then this mod will increase the radius and the damage of that explosion. Other mods you do have, I've picked up the Taken spec which was on Rod Stream yesterday and that specifically drops from the Last Wish raid. It's increased damage against Taken enemies. The other way you can look at these, if you go over to your collection will take a few seconds to load. You have the full section here of mods and it'll list everything that you can equip. So if we just go on to gun for the now. For the now? What's the for the now mean? For the minute. You'll see I'm still missing a couple. So source A to 1, source A to 1. So they're all from the Black Armour DLC quest giver. As is the Rampage spec, Surrounded spec, and the reason to come here, if you're looking for a certain one because you're fairly new to the game that I've spoke about today, you come onto this and it'll tell you where you can get the certain things from. So Banshee 44, Last Wish Raid, then you've got all your seasonal artifacts that are these light blue ones at the bottom. But your main ones that you'll use every day are just going to come from Banshee and it'll change what is selling weekly, I think. It might be every day, I haven't checked for a while, so I'll take note today and I'll let you get back to you on that. So the next one, I briefly went into the armour side of things before. Just go a bit more in depth. So just go on to this base helmet for now. So because it's an exotic, you've only got three categories. You've got the base slot which everybody has the same and then these two slots are dependent on uh, dependent on whether the ar armor type is solar void or arc so each of these skills will swap round depending so if i quickly swap out to say no that one that's when it loads up 
boards up. That's an arc one. So you'll see here, this one's completely different mods to what I've just showed you on the void. Still remaining the same though, is this first slot. They're all the same, apart from this one that's in the corner. So if your piece of armor is arc, it'll give you an arc resistance, solar, solar resistance, void, void resistance, so on. The next bit to look at, if you like in lots of grenades, you want to increase the time, uh, sorry, decrease the time between getting grenades, you want to put towards the discipline side of things, which you'll see on this bottom right here. This is just for this piece of armor alone. If you go back out of this, you'll see your overall stats here. So if we look at increasing this stat, you see I'm at 63 of 100, that's tier 6. And that's put my grenade ability to 51 seconds. So every 51 seconds my grenade will be ready again. I do have other things in play that change that, but I'm not going into that. So, just for now, I'll remove these. Just so you see what it looks like normally. So you'll see if I put a discipline mod on there you're gaining an extra 10 points on it so it goes discipline goes from 17 to 27 don't take, uh, make the mistake of thinking because it's all in green it's saying plus 27 you've got an extra 27 on top of that it isn't it's just the pl to me the plus shouldn't be there because it's telling you the overall what it's gone to not you're adding 20 points So, if I add that, you'll see, that's then increased to plus 27 discipline. Go back out here, my grenade's now gone up to tier 7, and my grenade cooldown has gone down to 0 0.45 seconds. So, you could then go down onto here, equip another one, that's an extra 10 points. So that's got it to 83, so tier 8. It's now at 41 seconds. Same again. I won't do this with every mod, I'll just show you what it's like if you do it for overall. That's already got one on. Actually, I'll go into the artifact in a minute, but you'll see. This is apart from your Warlock, Hunter, or Titan specific armor piece. I've got discipline on all of those and that's then left me at 93. Your maximum is 100 so there's never any point going above that. But you'll see now, rather than the 50 seconds that we started with, my grenade ability cooldown is down to 37 seconds. So every 37 seconds I am going to get a grenade. And if I progressed it to 100, tier 10, Grenade ability cooldown drops down to 32 seconds, which is very quick when you're fighting battles. It, if you just sat there waiting for it, it's still quite a long time, but... Right, so next... I'll just go into each one individually now, but I won't put them across the entire armor so you can see. Next one is strength. So strength is all about your melee. Intellect. Intellect always goes towards how fast you get your super back. Mobility, self expansion is just your movement speeds. Recovery is how fast you recover health and how quick your health regen starts kicking in. Resilience is basically your armor multiplier. The higher that is, the less damage you take. It's not majorly different from top to bottom but it will mean say two shots in crucible might become one shot that's against you so if you've got the minimal resistance it might take someone one shot to kill you if you put the maximum resistance it might take two or three shots to kill you then the next one you'll see the void resistance reduces all void damage from combatants. It doesn't say all, but it is all void damage, whether it be weapon or subclass, super, whichever. And that's from 
other guardians or normal PvE enemies. And then you've got minor resistance which is resistance against all basic enemies. Major against everything that's got a yellow bar and then boss normally named yellow enemies with the big health bar and this one is more say when the knights are attacking you hive knights they fire well basically fire fire at you and that burns on the floor so the area of effect damage will be lessened the more of these you have now, everything on this one increases overall you can have multiple of them and it will just multiply the effect the next one these two mod slots again these two mod slots are on all your armor pieces and this could be anything from giving you certain ammo so grenade fi ammo finder what the ammo finder mods do mean is you'll have a higher chance of heavy ammo dropping for you for, for a specific type or you can go general with the heavy ammo finder from any kill that you get if you go specific it's generally a higher chance it doesn't state that it is but it will be a higher chance that you find it because I've got my energy up to 8 if I remove that I could then equip two of these grenade launcher finders so that they stack again they'd give me an even higher chance of finding heavy ammo for the grenade launcher the other way you can go is how you weapon target stuff so precision weapon scatter precision is for hand cannons, scout rifles, trace rifles, bows, linear fusion rifles slug shotguns snipers I think I already said scatter anything that fires fast auto rifles, machine guns, SMGs, pulse rifles sidearms and fusion rifles and again with that you've got the specific ones now what you do have for extra cost when you finally get them these will drop from certain different things and I'll go into a, the other menu the collection is just to show you because again they'll tell you where they drop from so you'll see this is hand cannon targeting improved target acquisition and then next to it I've managed to get hold of an enhanced hand cannon targeting greatly improved, improved which because you can have a fully piece of ar uh, fully upgraded piece of armor which will give you 10 energy you could have the enhanced and the hand cannon targeting just makes it all that aim to the head and me personally if you're gonna do stuff like that it's more for crucible it's not really for PvE mainly because you don't need to be that accurate all the time in PvE you can get away with being a little bit off on your shots. And the next thing we'll go to So on the Warlock Bond, the Hunter Cape or the Titan Mark or Titan Skirt as I prefer to call it. These have different mods all over again. The first slot, same as all the others they have not changed as I showed you before because it's a solar the solar resistance is there instead of a void or an arc so we'll skip past that bit now these two blue ones as I've showed you before when I was doing the weapon mods this colour are all from the seasonal artifacts so you might have those you might not depending how much you've got the artifact upgraded even if you've got the artifact or not. The next thing is class, mark, bond, cape specific mods. Replenishes health each time you pick up an orb, grenade each time you pick up an orb of light, so on and so forth and to be honest with you I don't use these too much. I more focus on stuff like this. Even faster grenade cooldown when using your class ability. Now Warlock I don't use my class ability to give grenades back because my class ability is quite slow. But because I like a lot of grenades on a Warlock 
Now I've got this, Ashes to Assets. Gain bonus super energy on grenade kills. Now like the hand cannon we had before, I've got the enhanced version of this. So I'll gain even more, and I can equip two of those, which I'll just put on to show you. So for each one of those, one grenade kill will give me some towards my super energy more so than it normally does whereas your super energy is just ticking away so although it might be say four minutes for me to get my super back this will add energy off by therefore taking time off it the best way to think of it every grenade kill you get with one of these type of mods is going to take time off you getting your super back and you can get them for the weapons as well just dependent on what you're on so if I flick to... there we go, a void one you'll see I've got grenade launcher kills, sniper rifle kills there instead and also that these have now changed and these are like that first one, the void resistance depending arc, void, solar, these will all change and it's just Go through, have a read, and see if there's anything you think is going to help you out or not. Now finally, this empty slot on the end. For new armour, it says Arrival Armour Mod. This is all the new mods that you can do that are all to do with Charge Light. This early game, I'd advise not looking too much into the Charge with Light stuff. Um, I'm getting by not using it that much there's some stuff I do just to tweak it a little bit but if you're still learning the basics of modding this is probably best to stay away from for now just keep to these three to help you out so if we go to collections again get to mods you'll see these give you a list of everything that you've got for each class specific general so if we look at head I've not got the enhanced auto rifle targeting so this says pinnacle activity so pinnacle activity at this point you'll be able to see when it says pinnacle rewards but pinnacle activity is the top end stuff like nightfall ordeals um, raids, all stuff like that. Iron Banner does have a good chance at dropping enhanced mods which is where I've got a lot of mine from but as you can see I'm still missing quite a lot because I'm not into the PV, uh, PvP side of things. Um, other than that I think we're pretty much good on that. Um, just to double check I've said it last time as well this is where Banshee is and this is where you'll see what mod is selling so he sells it from mod components which you get by deleting certain weapons which have got mods on them or indeed deleting mods themselves but I wouldn't go around deleting mods so good ones that are on at the minute is targeted, uh, targeting the adjuster and machine gun reserves both are very good and they're probably worth picking up before the reset on Tuesday tomorrow. The other thing to do, you can also go down to see Ada 1, which I will quickly load this, jump down across here for the fast travel. And the reason that we could go see her, which you'll have to have the Forsaken DLC to do any of this, she actually sells mod components, and if I remember rightly, it's for legendary shards which legendary shards you'll get every time you delete any piece of legendary armor or weapon so if we go this way straight through this is where Raider is black armor it's quite a nice little area to look at as well but if we speak to Raider different mods and stuff and bounties so you get modules reports but then you flick over to this screen it says mod components so you can get 
buy one mod component, which I'll just do to show you. There's one. It costs 25 gun materials and three legendary shards. So in the early game, you're going to struggle to buy too many of these, and don't worry too much about it. You will get the materials, and you will get mod components dropping as well. I think if you do Banshee Bounties as well, they drop mod components, so that's another way that you can build them up. The other thing is Black Armoury mods. So you get schematics by... In fact, I can't even remember how you get the schematics now. From what I remember, it's just doing bounties. You got some of those. You do that. But I want to show you. Radar booster. Quick access sling. I've just got to collections. Uh, quick access sling I didn't actually have before. Swap weapons much faster for a short duration after emptying the magazine. Can't really say any more than that, it explains everything nicely for you. But the main thing is, just be patient and you will get a lot of these mods dropping and if there's anything specific you want to go for, you can look it up here. Or if I'm online or if you want to just message me, that's easily. I can respond to you and tell you if I know a better way of getting things. And then of course you've got the good old Google way of finding things, just Google how to get it if you want to just do it independently. Um, there is some of these, so you'll see Fallen, Scourge of the Past Raid, Last Wish Raid, Dreaming City Activities, Take and Repurposing. So. Last Wish, Scourge of the Past, Dreaming City, there's various different ones, Crown of Sorrow Raid, Menagerie, Menagerie, Seasonal Artifacts, so you're not too bothered about those. But yeah, hopefully that's got you covered on everything that you need to know. And if you still need any more information about it, if I'm online, feel free to talk to me. And I'll catch you next time. Cheers for watching, guys. See you later.